hey what's up guys this is cosmic jelly and we're going to be talking about world of warcraft and why i decided to come back to wow um it's not really to be honest it should be <laughs> why i started making videos I, I decided to start come back and start making videos for world of warcraft or whatever just because i played every mmorpg out there at this point um all the korean ones all the north american ones you know I, I've played everything. I, I'm pretty sure that you guys probably couldn't even stunt me in the um, comments or whatever if you named off some MMORPGs or whatever that you thought I didn't play. And you guys will be surprised. And majority of these MMORPGs, I have max level characters that have been maxed out in gear on some of these on some of these games or whatever for years. And you know that's the difference between those games and WoW. Like you can leave WoW for like two months or so three months or whatever come back and you'll 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 be surprised you'll be like holy crap it's like a whole nother game um not in the fact that you know the game dramatically changes or whatever well i mean i guess that would be <laughs> considered a whole nother game but in the fact that like you know there's more content and when people speak of content nobody does content better than wow like guild wars comes close to be honest and i believe final fantasy comes slightly close or whatever but as far as pve and raids and stuff like that or whatever even pvp um final fantasy can't hold the torch and guild wars can barely hold the torch and then and, and guys i'm partnered by guild wars <laughs> i'm partnered by the guys and i'm telling you guys you know that it, it doesn't come close like the combat doesn't come close to wild combat there's this big stigma that wild has with like saying it has tab target combat um that's just not true the combat in wild has changed so much in in the years whatever even if you go look at some classic pvp videos you can tell that the pvp is still much more active than most of these so-called games that are supposed to be you know what is it action combat and i remember back in the day people used to be like well terra has real action combat and they advertise their game as having action combat and mind you i believe that terra is one of the best korean um mmorpgs out like i feel like i even feel like it's more put together than black desert and the main reason is because in an mmorpg you typically want to cover all bases um these games are supposed to be a living world for you to actually live in and advance your character in and stuff like that right but the character the games most games or whatever and most korean mmorpgs just focus on one aspect of a game to the point where once you get bored of that there's nothing else for you to do and then the content for korean games we all know the content sucks what i mean by that is even when they have some of their biggest updates and stuff like that it, nothing really changes it gets to the point where they don't do content up updates or whatever those aren't their biggest updates their biggest updates are like overhauls of their system because they're just still trying to figure it out and figure out what works black desert is probably i believe black desert is probably the most successful um korean mmo i'm not 100 I'm not sure if it is i know that black desert is a mmo rpg that kind of set the bar and um standard for you know action combat i feel that black desert is the only M um, korean mmo rpg that has better combat than world of warcraft and really some people will debate about that or whatever but wow has been away from tag target the the typical tab target that you see and those things or whatever in a long time like i see most people when they do like tab target videos or some shit and their characters just sitting still and they're just tabbing through shit um if you ever watch any arena play if you ever watch any even classic pvp um videos of the game when it was just it's fucking bare bones you would see that you know actual players that play wow like pro players type shit like that or whatever are just your average you know player that has like knowledge on a game and the movement system doesn't do that like, you see people doing this shit in videos and they're like oh yeah just play wow it's tab target they sit there and they're fighting people and they're just like in combat <laughs> chasing people and shit and they're just like they stop and then hit and then stop and hit and all that weird shit i don't know what's up with that 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 is not how wow works if you do that you're gonna get ran over um nobody can actually come in wow or whatever and be like one week old in wow and compete in top level arena type shit um if you watch the arena tournaments and stuff like that the pvp is a lot more hardcore than you think 
And I know you guys are probably like, ah, oh, you know, it's easy. You can come over here. You can. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm cutting all that shit like right now. Like you can go Google the top arena players and wow, even not even the top, like in every server, they have top PVP players, right? That you can't fuck with. Like you could play the game for like a whole month of doing nothing but pvp or whatever and you probably won't be able to compete with them in a competitive environment or whatever you know so this whole idea that while pvp is not challenging it's easy and you can you got this and got that most of the people that i know that has like you know made those type of videos and stuff like that they've gotten carried by these really good players and it's always been like this um world of warcraft pvp has never really been super easy you know it's always been fun and the fact that the world was so is so massive or whatever like when you guys talk about content let's talk about content so in a typical korean mmo and mind you guys i'm not talking about black desert okay I'm not talking about Black Desert, although Black Desert does fa fall in this line, but we're going to talk about m not only just uh, typical Korean MMO, we're going to talk about typical MMO RPGs in general and what they consider content, okay? So here you have Eastern Kingdom Kingdoms, and then you have Kalmador here, right? So this is how World of Warcraft started. It just had these two continents. These are not maps. These are continents, okay? And each one of these have like several countries in them as if like you know they were africa or the united states or some shit like that you can just pretty much call this africa and maybe call this europe europe or some shit like that and you see all the little countries inside of it and these aren't small maps you click on these like these these places are massive okay all these all these maps are massive some of them are, are freaking ridiculous right so this is before wow had any expansion this is what wow launched with wow launched with all of this and like you can tell you can see why classic is so popular you know what i mean like if you go watch classic pvp videos and stuff like that you'll you, you you'll understand how big it is and stuff like that you know especially when you're running around with like small amounts and stuff like that right so then the next expansion was the burning crusades let's see if we can actually where is that at the outlands so this was the second while expansion it was the burning crusades and as you can see it's a whole continent itself and these maps are even bigger like this this whole map massive like you would have so many people in here just fighting and all sorts of drama everybody remember the hell hell's <laughs> everyone remembers the hellfire palencia days you know that was just great and then like we we experienced that again when the next expansion came out i'll talk about that in a bit whatever but you have all these maps and this was the main city right here shathrav it, it was dope it was dope it was absolutely amazing all of this stuff zanger marsh oh my god blaze edge was popping i remember man you'd be over here getting beat up your friend has to fly all the way over here and back then people couldn't really afford epic mounts like people had regular flyers and shit like that and a regular flyer would take so long to get over here bro you would be you would be stuck you'd be in trouble you'd be in trouble bro i remember trying to get the gruels leer down here and having to go through like multiple pvp guilds and stuff like that if they do decide to bring burning crusades out as a classic server you guys will actually get to see all this stuff in action because i think burning crusade was was the best expansion for me i feel like it was just so crazy every time your guild won the raid you had to go to war it was in it was crazy it was absolutely crazy right that's the second expansion don't worry guys we're not gonna even get to all this stuff yet this is crazy right so then the next expansion after that or whatever was Wait, wasn't Northrend? No, this wasn't. This is like a throwback to something else or whatever. So it was the Burning Crusades. And then it was the Wrath. Oh, yeah, it was. It was this. I think it was. Yeah, it was the Wrath. And this is when Death Knights and stuff like that came out. Ice Crown, Citadel, all that. This expansion was completely bonkers as well. Um, after this expansion, things started getting a little bit like things started to calm down for a while. And it started to get on a, on a level of like regular MRPG. But the mainly, I'm showing you guys this because... These are expansions. This is what WoW considers expansions. Like this is the big thing that you guys get every two, three years on on these other games that you guys play, and you guys get something like the size of Storm Peaks. You guys get a map like this or something like that, or like you know, you get one area, or whatever, and that's it. That's your expansion. We get whole continents, okay? Whole continents, just completely crazy. And these other ones, I don't really know in what 
what order or whatever because it's been so long or whatever but pandora was another one another expansion as you can see whole continents and these places these places are massive these places are absolutely massive and, and they're just fun. They're, you know, when they were popping, whatever they were popping. But now it's getting to the point where we can't. There's so many, there's so many, <laughs> so many places. Look, I haven't even been, I haven't even, what the hell is this actually? I haven't been here. I have to go there. I don't even know where that's at. I've been playing it forever. I haven't been to, I haven't been to any of these places actually, the Lost Isles. Yeah, I need to actually go to this place and see what they, those are actually. Um, damn. The freaking I forgot to even click on this right here. A whole nother map. This was a part of another expansion. I don't remember what that was, but it's not just by itself. This is just something that happened, whatever. I forget. Maybe in Cataclysm. So what Cataclysm did, right? This was an expansion that kind of like blew up. It, it released this big world dragon. He kind of like blew up the whole, you know, regular Kalmador and um Eastern Kingdom. And then that's when they kind of redid all of this. So like this stuff looks completely different than how it looked on Classic. So if you see somebody running through this on retail versus running through it in um Classic, it's going to look a lot different. It's actually crazy. I thought that was really cool as well. So instead of just like continuing to just keep making things and shit like that, they're like, you know what? It's time to revamp the original world and stuff like that. And it was dope. We loved it. Like I loved it. Draenor, um, this was really dope. This was 90 to 100 or something like that. I didn't play too much at this period. I just, I would just got really busy in life and stuff like that. As I got older, you know, I kind of stopped playing all games at a certain point. I just like, you know, you get older and you just get busy. That's just how life is. But so when I talk about this, like this is content. When you talk about a class in WoW, right? So right now I'm a unholy DK. Now next expansion they finna do, they're gonna do. Oh, I said finna raffle. Now you guys know <laughs> that the South is taking over my language. But typically in WoW you have classes that have built in about two to three classes with them, which is absolutely crazy. Where a lot of people actually want this feature in most games. They want a game that has classes that can tank heal and do like the whole holy trinity and stuff like that and people love final fantasy for that you know they're like oh yeah final fantasy is one of the only games whatever that actually has that system and it's complete and stuff like that and you know people forget that yeah wow has it too wow has it too and probably does it better than most of these they give you so many choices as far as being a tank being a healer being a dps so in cases of death knights i actually i love death knights ever since they came out all my friends can contest that i i've just always like leveled them i've always played them um i just like them and their rotations and everything has come completely natural to me as far as pvp guys world of warcraft is a game that doesn't have any any rotations in pvp um certain classes get away with spam and certain things or whatever but in pvp it's it's kind of like this is what makes world of warcraft pvp interesting right so when you go into a, a pvp match you don't just spam one through three you don't just stand there and i hear people say this all the time oh wow it's tab target you pretty much go in there you press a spell and the spell guarantees hit somebody um that's not how it works here we may not have dodges and stuff like that but we have counters to everything so right here i have icebound fortitude icebound fortitude is going to um your blood freezes grant an immunity to stun effects and reduce all damage taken by 30 percent right so i have to be smart on how i'm gonna pop this if i'm fighting a certain class it's kind of like pokemon or i can't even not even pokemon it's kind of like a trading card game right where you're just thinking how to outplay your opponent you you learn all the classes and what they can kind of do to you and as you level up your character and do pvp and battlegrounds and stuff like that you typically learn your character you typically learn what makes your character so powerful and who's who you need to be worried about right so when i know when i'm fighting mages and stuff like that i can pop anti-magic shield boom this is gonna make me immune to all their cc and shit for a second so i can just run straight home you know what i mean i can just run straight down their dome and stuff like that but they have a lot of stuff to counter as well so you have to be really smart on how you engage people you know wow is very action it's it's i would call it action combat because it is there's no moment where you're sitting there like this and you're pressing buttons with your mouse everything is matter of fact 
people people will clown you if you come in this game and you don't have an mmo rpg mouse or you don't like key bind all your shit up people will clown you because you won't be able to compete with top level you know competitive people like you know what i mean you're gonna be you're gonna get ran over you're gonna get ran over it's like as simple as that like people that think that oh they're so good and stuff like that and they come to this game or whatever they're overwhelmed okay and the game has not even 25 percent of the skills that we used to have per spec and stuff like that actually let me get back on specs real fast so this is unholy right unholy is a damage dealing spec or whatever for death knights and it typically deals in dark dark magic kind of like the necromancer on guild wars 2 right then you have frost frost is kind of like the same situation but instead of doing unholy damage it does like really burst it's like critty crit type damage what with frost so it's basically frost magic and physical a mixture between those two when unholy is physical and unholy damage um i love unholy because i love necros and it kind of gives me that that whole necro feeling and stuff like that um death knights are just a whole nother monster all in their stuff and they are a hero class so you can't just like you know start playing wild and just instantly pick a death knight you know what i mean you have to actually unlock this class and it's worth it it's worth it then you have blood and blood is just a pure physical class it's basically a tank class so your only reason you would be blood or whatever if if you want to tank or whatever and it's one of the only um classes in world of warcraft that kind of tanks with a two-hander um, most classes have a sword and a shield there's a couple other classes or whatever that actually use different things like demon hunters use um what do they call um Scythes, not scythes. <laughs> they use war glaives. Okay, if you ever seen a war glaive, like say Illidan or something like that, I know even people that don't play WoW know what um war glaives are. But typically, I just play unholy on my DK, and all classes are like this. All classes have multiple different specs and stuff like that. I'll actually log on one more class and kind of show you. What. So this is my Durette. Let me get this stuff out of the way for you. Not spamming you guys. Get out of here, dude. Make it a video. So. You guys seen this form before. This is my druid. Um, druids have four different specs they can kind of choose through. And these aren't like half ass specs. These these specs are full specs. They're full within the range of being a whole class within itself. You know what I mean? So say if you only want to play one class like a druid or something like that, you have access to a spell spellcaster, which is balance. Let me see if I have Moonkin form. I probably have the stars glyph on, so you probably won't be able to see my Moonkin form. But I'm going to add on equipped and stuff that I need. But yeah, so this is the caster spec of Druid. And as you can see, you have all these spells. And this is where wild combat gets crazy interesting or whatever, right? So if you watch any vanilla PvP videos or even, even any PvP videos of WoW or whatever, if you go Google some PvP videos, you'll see that it's very action oriented you see that there's a lot of movement going on there's a lot of finessing and stuff like that or whatever and it's kind of like chess so i have these skills and i have to choose how to use these skill skills like there's no rotations and stuff like that like there is a damage rotation as far as like if you get in an opening where you can just free cast on somebody and blow them up you're gonna use in pvp you just use the biggest bursty skills that you can possibly use to try to get them up out of here right but they have cooldowns and stuff too so you have to keep your eyes open and peep game like i have this trinket if someone's blowing me up maybe i can pop it get some more health you see i went up to 300 000 health or whatever when i popped it there's a lot of stuff that goes in to pvp that makes it very competitive and this is why a lot of players would ever come to wild WoW thinking that they're going to be this and that, whatever. And they, they try to go in arena and they get stomped because people know every class that they're fighting up. It's just a part of the game. It's kind of like League of Legends. Actually, that's the best way to put it. You know how in League of Legends where you're pretty much you have to know what everyone does. Like if you're uh, Annie or something like that, you have to be aware of, you know, Warwick or whatever. Or, you know, guess whoever. <laughs> <laughs> and in Warwick Raffle, like they're in a Robin Hood um story. But it's the same concept where you can't just blindly spam your skills and stuff. And I you I hear those people all the time saying, Oh, you just and wow, you sit in one spot and you just spam skills and the skills are a hundred percent hit or whatever. And that's not true at all. There's tons of different defenses that every single class has. Every class don't have the same defense, every class has a different strategy, and so you run into different fights all the time. And there I think there's like 13 or maybe I don't know how many classes are in wild actually <laughs> there's a lot somebody comment down below how many classes are actually in wild now i know there's a crap or whatever but each of those classes have like it three the the lowest one only one class has two specs but most of the classes have three specs 
and I think one of them has four specs, which is Druid, right? So you have all these different specs that are completely different play styles, completely different strategies in PvP or whatever. So as far as Guild Wars having a complexity and builds and stuff like that, WoW has the same thing. So you imagine that you build to counter something like a Feral Druid, but this motherfucker ends up being like balanced, but he tricks you because he goes in stealth. And he opens up on you like a feral druid with with claw and shit like that, and then you you get geek, you start popping all your feral cooldown strategy and shit like that, and then next you know he pops in fucking bunka and hits bark skin or whatever and just just trains you down, just completely goes ham, you know you you gonna be in trouble, you <laughs> you gonna be on big you gonna be in big trouble, I mean you probably die really fast, so. That's what I'm talking about as far as like, that's why I actually say that like World of Warcraft probably has the best type of PvP or whatever that there is. And then same with raids and stuff like that. In raids, the same situation. Only difference is you have a rotation, but that rotation is still fixed on, you know, depending on what boss you fight. A lot of bosses and while wow, you can't stand still. So this whole idea of you just stand still and you being stuck and shit like that, there's very few skills that people have in World of Warcraft right now that make you stand still. Something like this Lunar Strike or whatever is my biggest cast and I have to stand still for it. It's a two second cast, but when I pop all my cooldowns and shit, it's like a 1.4 second cast. And you you stop for like half a second, cast that bitch, and then keep moving or whatever. Because if you stand still, a warrior or a rogue or whoever you at war with right then or whatever, they're gonna get in them cheeks, man. It ain't gonna be pretty. They're gonna be they're gonna be all up in them cheeks, and you just you just not gonna understand life. You know what I mean? Even people, there's some people that go. As guardian, I'm not gonna talk about resto. Um, restoration, most most classes or whatever have a heal and spec or whatever. So there's a lot of stuff you can actually do in regards of that. Say if you wanted to be a healer and support people, they have all their like this are these are like their signature skills right here. That's what it shows you on this when you're actually picking what spec you want. You can go freely in and out of all these specs if you're that class, whatever class you are. You have specs that you can freely go in and out, and these will be like the signature skills, and you'll have other skills that you get as you level. You know, the complexity that comes along with this game is huge, right? So you're probably asking me, why do you keep why do you keep playing other games if WoW is so great and stuff like that? It's variety. Like every once in a while you get stuck. Like you have to think about it. I've been playing this game since since you know vanilla wow like w the classic videos that you guys are seeing that whole remake and stuff like that of what vanilla was i played i actually played vanilla and my buddies play vanilla and they're, they're playing classic right now um i will be uploading some classic content and stuff like that or whatever maybe i'll get into that i'm not sure what i want to play on classic yet i think i'm going to finish leveling that dwarf hunter that i started a while back or whatever but the main reason is just every once in a while you want to try something new so imagine playing this game for over 10 something years or whatever before actually you know playing another game as a main game because when i played other games and i got those max levels on all those other games wherever that i played i never stopped playing wow you get what i'm saying it wasn't until i would say the past like four or five years or so that i stopped playing wow as like my main game and mostly because i just kind of chilled out on games all together at that point um you know got in a relationship got in a serious relationship ended up getting married you know got a got a family and stuff you know so things are different i'm not a kid anymore you know i got responsibilities and stuff like that bills that need to be paid so i can't just sit here or whatever and just like you know play a game for like 12 hours a day or something like that like i used to as a teenager right so my reasons for doing that whatever or, or playing other games is just that you know when you got busy like that whatever you kind of lose you kind of lose contact with people whatever that you used to play with so you so when you come back to gaming and stuff like that the first thing you do is look for a group to play with so at the time the groups that i was running into were playing other type of games you know black desert um you know korean mmos and stuff they were just messing around and all sort of other games or whatever and these were people that just people that typically play korean mmorpgs don't give wild the time of day they don't understand what wow has to offer and why wow is so big like it is now i'm going to talk about one more thing before i end this video because i don't want this video to be like 40 minutes long i know this video is already long or whatever i'm probably going to title this um video why you should play wild or whatever or why you should give wild a chance but let's talk about this right here every mmo rpg has their problems 
it doesn't matter what game it is like you know as a gamer you owe it to yourself to play something that's going to make you feel happy this is why i feel like wild is so important and this is why i feel like most of you guys should definitely look past you know aesthetics and graphics and stuff like that you know and really give wild a chance because it has so much stuff to offer you guys and so much content and stuff like that daddy you guys wouldn't even you guys wouldn't even know man i know people that i play mobas with back when i played league of legends like really hardcore and stuff like that right these people hate it wow they never play wow right and somehow got into wow and just end up loving it just end up absolutely loving it like i know one guy he started playing he was playing um heroes of the storm with me we played heroes of the storm for like two years before he actually tried wow and he tried wow i could never get him off of wild again i could never get him to play heroes of the storm or anything ever again i swear to god like he just he just absolutely love it he used to be like man remember all those times i used to joke around about how wow was a crap game and stuff like that and you know trolling and all and i swear swear to you guys i'm gonna I'm try to find him and do a video with with him so he can kind of like tell you guys but i haven't talked to him in years it's been years or whatever and i don't even know if he's still on my friends list but he used to be like, man, you didn't tell me, dude. You didn't convince me. Um, you know, he, he was just so grateful about wow like i don't i don't really even know like it was i think it was his first mmorpg as well i think he played some other games or whatever i'm not 100 percent sure but i know like at the time he was playing nothing but mobas he would play heroes of the storm league of legends every once in a while smite every once in a while and that's pretty much what our friendship would consist of us going back and forth between different type of mobas and stuff like that but he never wanted to play an MMORPG. He thought the subscription was stupid. Um, guys, he literally, he had like, I think <laughs> the last time I talked to him, like years ago, he had like a whole year left on his subscription. He had like, he just went ham. Like, and he actually ended up getting into like this really hardcore PvP guild. They were doing arenas and stuff. He had like a little static group, whatever. You guys don't know what a static is. It's pretty much a group that, you know, doesn't want to commit to a guild that does like certain content, like maybe raid or mythic plus or something like that and then you typically find a static or whatever you get into a guild for something you love and then you find a static for other things or whatever that you you know don't want to like completely invest all your like time and energy into or whatever you just do it with your group or whatever on say like wednesdays or whatever you guys set a little schedule and stuff like that but he was hardcore he ended up that expansion i think it was cataclysm or something like that he was like way more geared to me bro he was like tops he was like in the top 10 server type gear and i haven't been that geared in a while I'm, I'm not gonna lie i haven't been that geared since i think the raf or since bc actually bc was the last time i was like in a top i would and bc at one point i was the number two hunter on my server and i was actually in a guild with my best friend called monolithic at the time which was i think the top 14th or something like that in the na at the time so it was a pretty hardcore guild they were they were dunking on bosses just say that they were dunking on bosses this was a pve guild for people that didn't know or whatever but if you're out there and you're really looking for a game and you're serious whatever um if you if you never played world of warcraft before i'm telling you um i don't think you'll regret it you know every like i said every game that i've ever played always has their complaints i can go i can literally right now make a video that tells you every downside about every single mmorpg you know what i mean and and none of those and still none of those kind of hold a candle to what wow does you know as much as people cry and stuff like that think about it when you're the most popular game out there you're the most popular person out there whatever you're gonna have the most haters that's just how it is you're gonna have these people that just want to make videos and hate on a game or whatever just to do it you know what i mean they don't have any premise behind it or whatever you're gonna have people and you when you have people that are passionate about a game as well you're gonna have people or whatever that is gonna come out with some negative videos and i'm gonna come out with some negative videos about things i don't like about wow you know my biggest negative thing about wow right now is we're having a server crisis and i'll actually make a video my next video will be about that whatever so if you made it this long in the video make sure to comment that waiting for server crisis video you know what i'm saying because it will be coming but peace out this video is already 30 minutes long guys um i hope this kind of like sheds some light on why i'm going to start making videos on the game and why you should actually give wild a chance